If they were here to speak on your light gate, and uh, if you have any questions, if I don't make something clear enough, feel free to say time out, back up, go over, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to assume we all know nothing about this, if that's okay. So we're all on the same page, all right? And I'm going to walk myself through this, and then uh, hopefully one of you will want to get hooked up and go through the paces uh, so you'll uh, get comfortable with this so you want to use it, all right? Uh, the... Uh, Lake gate is the number one uh, partial weight bearing gate training device sold in this country. Nine out of ten facilities uh, that have a partial weight bearing gate training device have this device. Uh, this device is, is, is rated for 500 pound patients, so as is your treadmill, so you can stick uh, your bariatric patients on here very easily. Okay. Um, some of the things that make this uh, device unique, uh, starting at the top, you have this split yoke. Um, all the other competitors just have a single T-bar, which you really can't allow for adjusting posture. With the four independent seat belts, I can adjust for posture very easily. And that's the number one thing you want to do when you get somebody up, is you want to get them as straight as possible. So if I'm leaning forward, you can just pull in the two front straps. If I'm leaning to the right, you can pull in the two right straps. It's very easy to get somebody into a neutral position as, as close as possible, as they'll physically let you. Okay. You also have the balance, uh, the, the scale on here. Eat, there's, a, there's a force, uh, a strain gauge inside each one of these yokes to let you know uh, how much poundage you're uh, off, unweighing somebody. Okay? The off and on switch is here on the uh, right. Make sure you shut this off when you're done using it. All right? And it's also feeding off of the battery down below here. So uh, turn this to off when you're done. So it doesn't, And there's a little 9 volt battery in here as well. If you push the toggle button to the left, that measures the left side of the yoke. If you push it to the right, it measures the right side of the yoke. If it's in the middle, it's measuring total body weight, okay, or the downward force, okay. Uh, right here, we have a neat little uh, uh, shock absorber, uh, which by adjusting this knob gives you more uh, bounce or spring in your step. If you, the more you undo it, the more you, you screw it in or tighten it up, it takes all the bounce out of it. Okay? So totally up to you how much spring in, in the patient's step that you want. Here you have the actuator. It's battery operated, rechargeable. The recharger is down here. And over here on, on the, uh, on the uh, monitor, there's a little bar grass. As that goes down, it'll tell you that you need a charge. You just simply plug it into a wall outlet and you let it overcharge overnight and uh, you're, you're good to go. Or if somebody's in here and the battery runs out, you can just plug it in and lower them down and get them out. Okay? You can't overcharge this, so don't worry about that. There's no memory to the battery or anything like that. Um, here you have your handles. These are adjustable up and down by unscrewing the, the back knobs here. Okay? For patient height and comfort. As well as you have these uh, arms that you can take out and you can spin around to whatever angle you want, uh, and depending on the patient's uh, condition. Uh, down below here, this is a very versatile device, and then you can take it in and out of the doorways, go upstairs, get somebody out of bed, or downstairs, I keep getting on the fourth floor here. Um, you can get out in a corner, any hospital bed, any mat table, or go around your treadmill. Uh, so it gives you a lot of versatility. Uh, you can put it over an exercise bike, uh, whatever the case may be. On your left here are three wheels that say lock, so if you want to lock this in place, you want to uh, push those down. Over here are directional wheels. If you push those down, it'll allow it go in a straight line. So you're going to go straight up and down the hallway, you want to use those. Okay? Um, oh, the off and on button here is this little red button. Pushes it down, shuts it off, and all you do is just twist it like a quarter turn and it springs up and turns it on, okay? And please try to shut it off when you're not using it, okay? But that's not as critical as, as shutting this off, okay? Um, and here's your activator up and down. You have two up buttons. One will take you so far and then the next one will take you the rest of the way. This will accommodate somebody from four foot nine uh, to seven foot two. You can even get somebody off the floor with this on all fours, okay? By taking this down low and lengthening the straps, you can work with somebody on the floor of this if you want to. So you can pick somebody off, up off the floor. You have three sets of harnesses.
You have a small adult, which goes, I think, from 19 inches to like, uh, uh, I think it's somewhere around 40 inches ballpark. Okay. Um, these are washable, so if somebody's incontinent, you can throw them in the washing machine. Okay. You have a standard adult, which will take, I think this goes from like 24 inches up to 60 inches. Okay. This is all mountain climber quality, so nobody's going to bust out of this thing. Okay. Uh, there's actual Kevlar strands in here, like they use in bulletproof vests, so nobody's going to bust out of prison on this thing. And lastly, you have my size, which is the bariatric belt, and you could probably get uh, two or three normal people in here. Uh, that's, and that's only halfway adjusted. Okay? So, Somebody's had a nice holiday meal or whatever, you can see. So you should be able to, and there's even a spacer. If you need another six inches, you can put in here to get six more inches. All right? The, um, getting this harness on right and getting it on properly is huge. Okay, this is the most important thing about any of this. Okay, you can do this and put this on the patient in their bed. You can put it on them on a mat table or if they can stand up. I generally don't like to do this when they're in a wheelchair because it's tough to, you gotta stand them up, slide this under them, sit them down in the wheelchair and reach around the wheelchair to try to tighten them up. And it just, to me personally, it doesn't work very well. Okay, um, the buckles go up, okay, greater trochanter. Totally up to you. There's no right or wrong here. Okay, you don't have to be very picky about it. Okay, if you want less range of motion, you can lower it down and get more of a penguin effect. If you want more range of motion, you can raise it up. Okay, so don't worry about that. What you're going to do is get them out of the wheelchair, put them on a mat table, do the old roll, roll, slide this under them, and then start buckling them up. Start taking the slack out of the set. Okay? Try to get as many layers of clothing off. You may want to have them in a pair of gym shorts or any kind of hospital pants or whatever you call it. Um, no keys or pager or cell phones or any of that nonsense. Okay? And just start tightening them up. Top, middle, bottom. Top, middle, bottom. Top, middle, bottom. Really crank this on. We want the weight to be born here at the hips. Okay? Not from the straps and not from the groin piece. So you want to get this as snug as possible. And down, as you get down to the very end, that very last little, uh, take it with one hand, push, push the slack to the, to the buckle, and pull the excess out with the free hand, okay? To you and I, people that are used to walking, this is gonna feel restrictive, okay? Um, don't put any ideas in your patient's heads. Say, oh, Mr. Jones, you're gonna feel that this is restrictive. Don't even give them that kind of whining material. Okay? Make them say something to you. Somebody who hasn't walked in a long time or just had a hip surgery or knee or whatever, they don't care. They want to get up and move. Okay? So when you get, it, get them done there on the mat table, you swing their legs over the edge. If this is on tight enough, they're not going to be able to sit at a 90-90. They're going to be leaning backwards. So you may have to have like a, your leg or something against them while you're strap, strapping them into the yoke. Okay? You know this is tight enough if you can't get two fingers between the top belt and the patient. All right, this is still too loose on me, but this is just, you know, for demo purposes. Okay? Lastly, you have uh, two groin straps like this for, the, for this belt and for the small adult. Okay? For the bariatric belt, we have these like car seat belts for the groin strap. Okay? And you have a short ones and long ones, depending on how big the patient is. Okay? You want to put the groin strap in the front first. If you like your male patient, make sure this Y is in the front. If you don't like your male patient, or they're whiners, or they don't pay their bills, you don't care. Okay? 
to say, hey, I hear there's an opening over at Lourdes. Okay? Always have your competitor's card in your pocket just for those whiny patients. <laughs> you laugh, but you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> can't, get, can't we discharge Mr. Jones? God, there's a pain in my butt. Wham, 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 wham. And again, take the slack out. Don't let Matt Salinger hear you. All right, we're good to go. Okay, we want the weight to be borne here at the hip. So this, these six straps as tight as possible. If you have a frail little old person, little old lady, 100 pounds soaking wet, and the small adult belt doesn't go down small enough because you know they're size two or size zero, throw some padding in here, like towels or foam or whatever the case may be. Get creative. Okay. Um, <clears throat> These are ordinary cart, yeah. car seat belts, and they just snap in very simply. Even a man can understand this without an instruction manual, okay? Uh -huh. Sorry guys, we're outnumbered. I don't want to have to back out of here, okay? They can face in or they can face out, doesn't matter, okay? Face out, they can use their walker, their cane, you can sit them on a physio ball and play catch with them. Sky's the limit. Okay, or you can have them face in, all right? And these just buckle up. Okay, now you want to take the slack out. Generally, you'd like the bottom of the buckle about one hand width to the top of the head. Okay? Again, don't drive yourself crazy. You want more sway, get these up higher away from the head. You want more control, get the buckle closer to the head. Totally up to you. Alright? And take your slack out. Pull up, boom. Okay? And you, you know these, you want these to be tight so that they if you were to do this, they, they spring apart. That's when you know you got all the slack out. And if you need to individually adjust something, either up or down, you can take one down at a time, lengthen it or shorten it, and stick it back in. Okay? They're not going anywhere. Okay? They're very safe. All right? So now you can, you can start unweighing them. Okay? As much or as little as you like. Okay? So if somebody says, hey, I'm not working out today, say, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay? They're not going anywhere. Alright? And you're going to feel for, again, with the scale, how much you want to unload or load the patient. The doctor say, hey, we only want 20% weight bearing. If I was 100 pounds, and I was uh, 800 years ago, my size six figures long gone. Um, so this would read 100, you would offload it till it said 8. Okay? So. Just use the percentage, you know, of the patient. All right. This moves very easily, so any person can move this very easily. Doesn't take a lot to move this. Okay. The treadmill is great in that it allows you to cover a lot of distance, pardon the pun, without going anywhere. So you can do two, three minutes, five minutes, stop it, let them take a rest. Two, three, five minutes, let them take a rest. Plus, you can get down here, and if they've got a hemiplegic side or a poor gait or whatever. You can work with the feet or foot. Um, also, the treadmill forces them into a cadence. Okay, according to Paul Hansen, who's a PhD PT out of on the left coast, one of these, these countries' premier speakers on partial weight bearing gait training. We've had him up to upstate New York about five or six times on his, on his seminars. He does a great job. You can reteach anybody to walk again, provided you have three things: an intact brainstem, get the hip extensors involved and get them up to two miles an hour, either over the treadmill or on land. Okay? So any of your patients can go in this. Um, orthopedic, neurologic, cardiovascular, uh, stroke, you name it. Okay? Get really creative with this. Okay? Or if they just maybe just have balance issues, vestibular. Okay? Um, what else? <clears throat> now, when you put them back, you don't have to go back to the mat table. You can put them right back in the wheelchair from here. Okay, so bring the wheelchair in, 
all right? Low arm down. What you want to do is get the groin strap out of the way. Undo it, the groin strap in the front. Lower them into their chair, okay? Then you can unbuckle them. All right? And then all you have to do is get them out of here. Just lift up on the tabs, okay? Just lift up on the tabs, and it opens up very nicely, okay? And then you can unbuckle them and then you can go on to the next patient, okay? Any questions? Now, uh, Lightgate uh, Mobility Research, they're out in Arizona. They have a full-time physical therapist on staff. If you ever have any questions, I have Paul's PowerPoint presentation with me, and on the front is his email address and phone number. If you have any questions, you're welcome. I would suggest you email him rather than call him, because generally he's all over the country speaking, but he will get back to you if you have a particular question. Uh, I'm always down in the area. If you ever want me to come back and go over anything, or maybe I said suggest the other group, maybe have me come back in a month to kind of review anything or answer any other questions you might have faced, I'll be glad to do that as well. Okay. Any other questions? Your treadmill, basically you're just going to be using this treadmill. This is a good rehab treadmill in that it, A, is designed for 500 pound patients. B, it starts at 0.1 mile per hour and goes up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so forth, uh, which is key for this, which is huge. Um, this will also do reverse and decline as well. Okay, so you have everything on here that you could possibly need, okay? If you're doing this properly, you should be down here working with your patients, so you should be getting just as good a workout as they're getting, okay? The, one of the many benefits of the light gate is there's nothing in the way here, so I can reach my patient's feet or legs very nicely, okay? With most of our competitors, there's a big post here, and you've got to reach around the damn post, okay? Um, what else? There's no maintenance to this. Uh, just keep it charged and you're good to go. Okay. There is a manual here with it. Um, there are I have some articles in my notebook. If you want to make photocopies before I go, you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, there are seminars all over the country, both for adult and pediatric partial weight bearing gait training. Um, and there's several of these devices in and around New York State. Uh, if you ever need to compare notes with anybody. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody want to try it? Not just, but nice and full from lunch. I know, right? I would suggest somebody try this so you at least you walk yourselves through this while I'm here. I'll get in it so I can get up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use the small adult on her for obvious reasons. <coughs> so we're just going to put this on her. I'll do it. Okay. Oh my God. Take out, let's take out this slide. <laughs> to the olden days. Generally, you want to start down on the low side. This will ride up a little bit, uh, but the, again, like we said, the tighter it is, the less the less it's going to move. You take up, just take up your general slack first. On the mat table, you'll have you'll be at a mechanical advantage while they're laying there. You can really crank down on these straps very nicely. Long. 
here on the actuators if so force them to keep their eyes up or throw the mirror either at this end of the treadmill or the other end of the treadmill so you want to tell them to keep their head up because they're going to want to start doing this okay no. okay we're good thank you any questions <laughs> 